Hey friends, today I'm back and I have got you some very important questions of Gauss Law. This is Gauss Law 03. If you haven't watched what is electric flux and what is Gauss Law, please go in the description below and watch my previous two videos. Okay, so today we are doing some good questions on Gauss Law. So let's revise what was electric flux. It was E, electric field, dot A, area vector, which is perpendicular to the surface and in three-dimensional body, the perpendicular is taken outwards and it becomes Ea cos theta. Now this is Gauss law. The total flux through a closed surface, which is a three-dimensional closed surface, is equals to 1 by epsilon naught times the net charge enclosed by the closed surface. Suppose I have a room and I have to find the net flux coming out through the room. So either I go through the formula E dot A and I find electric field at E point on the surface or I say the total flux is equals to the net charge inside room divided by epsilon naught. Okay, so here we have first question for AIPMT 2010. The question is we have this area rectangular block and we have some electric field which is inclined at theta degree with respect to the block. The length of the block is L. Over here also L, L, L. You have to find the net flux through the block. This is a two-dimensional body. Here are the four options. Okay, so what is your answer? E multiplied by area multiplied by cos theta. E is E, fine. Area is L into L, so L square into cos theta. So which is the option? Option B? No, my friend, the answer is zero. How? You see, this is a block or whatever, the 2D lamina or 2D plate. The area vector is perpendicular to this, like this. This is the direction of area vector and this is electric field. So what is the angle between them? 90 degree. So what will be the answer? E A cos 90 and cos 90 is 0. So this is the answer. Got it? Okay. Similarly, we have now the second question. The second question is we have a hemisphere and a plus Q charge is kept at the surface over here. So what is the flux coming out from the hemisphere? What? Q by epsilon naught. Okay, let us solve. You see, in Gauss law, I have told you the Gaussian surface should be closed. This is not closed. And second thing should be symmetric about charge. This is not symmetric. So let me construct a symmetric surface. Now you see, this is symmetric as well as closed. The total flux through this sphere will be Q by epsilon naught. But here the question is for hemisphere. So if the total flux through the whole sphere is Q by epsilon naught, means this is flux, no? electric field lines coming out from the sphere. So if the total flux is Q by epsilon naught, what is the flux through the half sphere? Q by 2 epsilon naught. Suppose 10 lines are emerging from this sphere, then 5 lines are emerging from the upper half sphere and 5 lines are emerging from the lower half sphere. So what will be the answer? Q by 2 epsilon naught. Then, so we come to question number 3 from AIPMT 2012. We have a cube and we have a charge plus Q kept at one corner of the cube. Kept at one corner of the cube. What is the flux through the cube? What? Q by epsilon naught? No, now you've got it that this is not a closed surface and moreover the surface is not symmetric about the charge. So how can you construct a symmetric surface? See this Q charge is placed at one corner. Now to make it symmetric we have to place one cube above it, one cube from this side, one cube above that cube, one cube from back side, one cube above that cube. 1 cube from diagonal and 1 cube above that. Are you getting what I'm saying? It's a tough imagination. This is a cube, okay? And a charge is over here. So to make it symmetric, I have to place a cube over here. Okay, it is between these two cubes. A cube from this side, 
okay fine shared with this cube a cube above it okay so we have four cubes now four cubes from behind now when i have four cubes like this one two three four and four behind one two three four then this charge will be at the center of eight cube just like you study the share of corner atom in a simple cubic cell oh that's chemistry okay leave it so this charge will be at the center of eight cubes so what is the flux coming out through the eight cubes through eight cubes the total flux will be q by epsilon naught and hence the flux through any one cube will be q by eight epsilon naught okay and hence we come to the next conceptual question question number four what does it say here we have a sphere and a plus q charge placed over here and electric field lines are coming from this charge what is the flux through the sphere? Zero or non-zero? The question is so simple. So some of you must be having in mind that the answer is zero because there is no charge contained in this sphere. And Gauss law say flux through a closed body is equal to Q inside upon epsilon naught. Since there is no charge inside the sphere, the flux will be zero. We have zero charge inside this sphere. Thus, the flux from this sphere must be zero but uh, from this analysis e dot a we are getting a bit confused see over here the electric field lines are anything like this so electric field line over here will be like this and the area vector will be perpendicular outward area vector will be perpendicular outward and area vector will be perpendicular outward and over here the electric field line are going like this and area vector will be like this area vector will be like this and area vector will be like this okay so you see from this side the flux will come out to be negative yes because electric field is in this direction and area is in this direction so it will be cos 180 or maybe greater than cos 90 which is negative so from this surface the flux will come out to be negative and for this surfaces the angle is less than 90 and hence cos 90 is positive less than cos 90 so we get flux as positive so this side gives negative flux, this side gives positive flux, on adding it becomes zero. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This side has a stronger electric field because this side is closer to the charge. Then this negative is more. No, this side has more electric field, but the area is also less. So electric field is more, but area is less. And at this side, the electric field will decrease as we have gone far from charge, but area is more electric field is less and area is more over here electric field is less more and area is less so one of the thing counterbalance the other and overall here negative and here positive will get to zero or you can use gauss law that was so simple that flux from a closed surface is equals to charge enclosed upon epsilon naught since there is no charge inside it hence the answer will be zero i hope you enjoyed this video which explains some very important question of Gauss law and test your concept. Please rewind the video, pause yourself after every question and watch this. Let's wait for Gauss law 04 where I will discuss electric field due to a linear charge.